Welcome back guys to part 14 of my 185 gallon reef tank. This is going to be week 8, going into week 8. The date today is September 20, 28th, I think. Yeah, September 28th, 2010. And the purpose of this video is to do a test, um, prove to see if LED lights and ecosystem miracle mud can actually grow corals. Um, there's a lot of people who will, you know, not go away with, you know, metal halides or T5s or, um, you know, power compacts. So LEDs is all brand new. Um, you'll see a lot of vendors and people who are selling stuff who will grow it under, uh, you know, 65K um, power compacts, take that coral, put it underneath LEDs, color it up for a week, and then, you know, take a picture of it and try and sell it online. So that's one way of doing it, but, you know, no one really knows if an LED system with the ecosystem Miracle Mud can actually grow corals. So what I'm planning on doing is we're just going to take a look at each kind of coral here um, start from left to right and I guess a week I'm sorry like two weeks or a month take another video and see how far along these corals have actually grown uh, I apologize right off the bat I do not know the names of 90% of these but uh, some of these corals have been in here for since Friday and some of these corals, I'm sorry, Saturday and some of them has been in here since going on three weeks now. Um, just a good look at it. If I kind of go in close to this, you know, you can see what the Miracle Mud says it does. Yeah, it's too far. But it gets, you know, it gets the, uh, the polyps extending out of this. Um, and it, it does what it says as far as corals go you know this frog spawn is very very happy there's about three heads on there and, and it's expanding every time i look at it um this is a brand new one here but same thing you know great polyp extension um another thing guys if your computer graphics card can handle it turn it on to you know 480 or even 7 720 and 1080 because it's uh this is a you know high definition camera and it can uh kick up 1080 but um you know to get the actual details out of the corals and um whatnot you might want to just mess around with the graphics on the youtube site um uh, this is my green star pop it just started today to actually come out it's been kind of hidden like that all gray for five days and just today I started to come on out my leather is pretty much back to normal um, you know it's all extended in the polyps I don't know if I can zoom in slow for it to focus enough but uh, you know the polyps are all good on this too extended um, this one here I don't know the name of that, but, uh, you know, this is a mixed reef. Okay. Um, this is a fuzzy mushroom here that's green. And a couple other mushrooms that have actually come along and decided to kind of scatter about. That's not a mushroom, that's a, some zoo anthid. But, um... You know, just kind of going over them slowly to see what uh, kind of growth you get out of them after a month's time. If it's working, if the LEDs can handle uh, growth and whatnot. So it's an experiment. It's something that's going to happen over a long term time. And it's going to be proof because, you know, how many some of these little heads we got in here? We got like three or four in there. And uh, we'll go from there. Yeah. 
so this thing's doing great. I don't know, I wish I knew the name of it, but it's, it's you know, it's, it's doing great. When you turn the, the whites off and the whites kick off, um, you know, that all those yellow looking middles turn up like a fluorescent neon looking white. They're awesome. But, uh, so yeah, I mean, if this is the first time you've seen this uh, build, you know, you will notice that it's, you know, a skimmerless system with a, uh, you know, GFO and carbon reactor here. Temperatures right at 80 to 78, depending on the weather outside. There's no chiller. There's Cheeto. There's Miracle Mud. There's some Bio Balls. There's lots of live rock. It's a closed loop system. And a bunch of timers for the LEDs and dimmable, you know, to um, go from uh, white to blue on these drivers here. Currently, right now, the lights are on for, I want to say, yeah, nine hours total. The uh, blues will kick on first. They'll be on for about a half hour. And then the whites will kick on, okay? And then there is a high noon last that goes for four hours which with those XPG LEDs um, on this side. And uh, just so you can get an idea of what you need to set up for growth in, uh, in the system. I'm using uh, Tropic Marine Bioactive Salt. Currently, right now, I am not supplementing calcium or um, alkalinity or magnesium. Um, that I'm really relying on the, the expensive as salt, you know, that bioactive salt to handle all my growth. And uh, to give you a kind of perspective of what kind of LED system we have set up here, there's a total of like I think 100 and, uh, 120 or something along that lines as far as total number of LEDs. The optics, which is the lenses that go over on top of the LEDs are 80 degree optics. And then this middle row here that is not on is these those XPGs that go on for a total of uh, um, four hours per day. That's, we're talking about that high noon blast. So a nine hour day, there's a, a, a sunrise and sunset, so to speak, with having the uh, blues go on and the blues go off last. And that's kind of where the parameters are and what we're going to see as far as what works best and how to make stuff grow with LEDs and Miracle Mud. Um, if you have questions as far as the, the build went, check the previous videos. Um, if those don't answer you, send me a message. I'll be glad to answer them for you. And uh, um, I can't think of anything else that would be beneficial to know so that we can uh, you know, see this as a, a true test. Um, the uh, outputs for the, the flow are in that corner up there and this corner up here hitting the rocks and there is a closed loop system in the back with those outputs there and there is a total of 11 openings through the back let me see if i can get the kind of angle shot there's the input and then all these little cut out uh, drill holes in the back are the output side of it um currently i mean pneumonia is going to be low because we got the two clarky clowns that's it um I want to get some more growth out of the corals first. Um, take my time, go slow. Um, this way, you know, I don't get a big ammonia spike and then have to worry about my nitrates and all that other good stuff. But, uh, you know, take it slow, like they always say. But, um, you know, um, I, I guess the pumps is important too. I'm using two Pan World pumps. The uh, first one is a Pan World 150, which is good for like 1,100 gallons per hour, and then a bigger one in the back that is uh, Pan World 200, which is up to 1,700 gallons per hour, and then an automatic top-off system with DI water. 
everything is DI, RODI water. So keep uh, you know the algae down and everything else down. Um, so I uh, guess we can end it on that. And if you guys need or have any more questions as far as the setup or the parameters, want to follow and subscribe, that'd be great. And like I said, I'm glad to answer any kind of questions you have. Thank you very much. It's about end on my favorite coral here so far. That one's cool. I think it's called a Duncan decan. It's got a bluish greenish interior and eventually it'll split and get a couple more heads going on. This frog spawn's awesome too. We'll see it in Xenia. People hate this coral. I don't know why. I think it's one of my favorites because it's like a its own little being <laughs> with it opening the hands like that. So yeah, thanks a lot guys.